Mediterranean diplomatic mission to Czechoslovakia and Yugoslavia. We can invite some people, the Italian alliance, well, they're not going to agree to anything. You know, let's do the Mediterranean. France, you want to be in our alliance? You want to be part of the allies? Okay, coward. You little baby. You want me to join your war? I'll join your war. Delete you guys. I'm going to send you to the border right now. I mean, how are supplies looking here? Kind of bad. Germany under attack. Germany's at war with the Italians as well. We have our contingent of forces moving our way into the country. Czechoslovakia would like to join the faction. So you know what? We won't be able to check, take over... Um, again, bypasses. I actually bypass a lot of these folks as well. Does it bypass you? No, it does not, unfortunately. Austria and Romania will join the alliance. I mean, yeah. Why not? 35 days? I mean, the November alliance is looking to be a very, very powerful group of country. Can I theoretically increase you? Yes, I can. I'm going to increase you the maximum of motorization for right now. So I think that will prove to be important in the future. You have an airport in the area. Yes, you do. Let's endure the Western Balkans. And our supplies are still looking good. Fuel is still looking okay. We are still a civilian economy, which we can probably change in the future. But can we also not be embargoed? Which would be nice. But on the other hand, we are getting a lot of resources. I mean, what are we losing? What are we losing from being an embargoed economy? I mean, we're not getting any of the bonuses from factory output. I mean, actually, it's a pretty big penalty. I mean, it's just, it's kind of just like a worse limited exports, I think. So maybe we'll go expert focus. Seems like that could be okay. A lot of units are moving their way towards the borders. Again, you don't want to be in our faction right now. Get a non-aggression pack. Thank you, Germany, for the equipment. So I think instead of whatever nonsense this is, let's delete our army. Draw a fallback line here, and let's prepare an invasion. We don't have flower, but we don't have floating harbor needed for this. Is that a technology? I'm assuming the answer is yes. We also don't have basic naval invasion tech to begin with, anyways. So you know what? We'll pull it back over to here. Oh no, they would actually assume leadership. If they have... Well, we need more manpower. Wait, no, they don't. They cannot even assume the leadership for the following reasons. 20 days at 180. Yeah, no, they, they need to basically double the size of their army. Or increase it by like 50%. Which I don't think they will do. More military factories in our capital. I guess we could still prepare a naval invasion order. And if we can't actually deploy you on this line quite yet. But where is Floating Harbor? In the naval tech tree? Not in here. I don't know where Floating Harbor is. Um, I'm a floating harbor from your stockpile. I mean, do we already have it and we just need to build it? No, that is not the issue. Hello, uh, IO28. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too sure exactly what we're missing out on right now. To build a floating harbor. I'm not too sure where it's located either in the tech tree or what. Be engineering, maybe? No, it does not look like it. Okay, Hungary has agreed. Austria has refused. You're a freaking nerd, but welcome, Hungary. The November, the glorious November alliance. We want Greece or we want Turkey? 
Turkey has 17 to 64, Greece has 5 to 19, and are also communist. So I think the choice there is rather simple. We're going to go pro uh, Turkey on this one. And they'll probably end up joining with the Soviet Union at some point. I don't know exactly when it will be. But at some point, they're going to do it. I know it. There's 40 plus 10%. That'd be pretty good. Or does a, or does a lot of your experience gain? Well, we're already at 48. Just for, like, look how fast you build air experience. And our air force isn't really even doing that much. What if we go here and try to fly over the Alpine region? Yeah, we're getting like 0.2 per day. Which is pretty good. Also, one nice thing, another uh, nice update uh, with the no step back. Is that you can actually see when the AI is doing force attack or force defend or anything else. Which is very, very helpful. Because for honestly the longest time in Hearts 4, I did not know the AI even did any of those decisions. I didn't know they force attacked. I didn't know they force defended. But now having some visual modifiers and being able to clearly see that is nice. But all 75. Still a little bit expensive. I mean, we get it so quickly. We get like 0.25 per day. And again, our, our Air Force isn't even doing that much. I think our agent must have been killed in the Soviet Union. Let's send you to Italy then instead. That's for land appropriation. I think the answer to that one is no. Diplomatic mission to Turkey. I mean, it's already a bit too late for us to do this. It's going to take 35 days on you. I think I have war propaganda. But we already have like 94% war support. So I definitely don't think that's even necessary. And we can see that we're slowly pushing our way in. They can take Venice, which you can see with this little... Uh, actually, that's the hangar. Are you a supply hub? Yes, you are. Well, you're a naval base, which I think also counts as a supply hub. The question is, will I even be able to do my naval invasion left to the Baltic States? I mean, we'll try it. God damn it, Turkey. And I also, now I can't ask Greece. I can't, like, ask the, the Turkish... Uh, I can't ask the Turks and then ask the Greeks. As nice as that would be, it's just not really a possibility here. I mean, they're deploying more units. Germany might take over the faction. But if we can add more people into the faction uh, on our own, I think that's still good for us. You're all basically garbage. I forgot how shit... I guess I'll go tank technology. I forgot how terrible uh, base game research houses are. They're all horrible. By the way, how are supplies doing with these guys? Uh, pretty bad. I mean, I guess I can spend my own tanks or my own trucks trying to increase their supplies. Which is nice. I like that we're able to help our AI allies more, which is desperately needed. Let's invade, like, southern Italy instead. So I think they might take northern Italy before we can really do anything. Their name of Age Attacks will be done 65 days. Will they kill Italy within a month? I don't really know. It's possible. It's quite, quite possible. A little bit annoyed that, uh, Turkey did not decide to join our faction. It would have been really, really nice if they did. Get the Baltic States. France wants to join the faction, absolutely. Welcome, France. Welcome to the winning team. We basically have united all of Europe. We have another... Okay, so here's our 24 stack that I was building. I don't know where I really even put these guys right now. Oh my god, France. I am going to give you some trucks that I think you desperately need. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna basically supply the French army with trucks. I mean, we have enough trucks for this to work. And Bukharan did lose their civil war. I don't think anybody should be too surprised by that. Okay. But if we send our units on, like, this line, they should be okay. This is, like, our main, um... 
our main, like, kind of network, I would say. We've got a lot of railroads over here, and of course, we can always increase our truck capacity in this area as well. So I think they should be fine. Okay, United Kingdom has this valid appeasement. Not that appeasement even exists in this timeline, but, you know, what do you know? Lithuania is very sad, though. Okay, Latvia and Estonia decided to join the November Alliance. I mean, it's looking pretty good for us. And yeah, no, Latvia has joined. Estonia has joined. We'll probably get all of the Nordic countries to agree into an alliance as well. Mikhail the First has managed to unite all of Europe into a faction together. Well, not all of us. I mean, you know, Greece is doing her own thing. But I mean, aside from that, got it pretty under control. Do I need to send more trucks over here? Yeah, mostly because I don't trust the AI to you. God, they're they're drowning themselves in supply issues. Which I mean, that's that's a hard to for AI for you. They love sending way too many men to die due to attrition. They love it. It's their favorite thing on earth. Yeah, we don't need a war propaganda. We don't need war measures. It, it's all kind of meaningless. Can't upgrade you, right? Because you need a hundred. We got the war austerity train, which we definitely want to upgrade you into. Just because you're cheaper. You're cheaper, and I think that's good for us. I'd rather have cheaper trains than protected trains. But again, actually, I'm gonna look at these stats. How much how much armor do they have? 250 as opposed to literally zero. Okay. So Maybe armor trains are good. I'd, I'll wait for the Hearts of Iron 4 Theory crafts, uh, Craftsman to tell me whether or not it's good or if they're actually bad. We'll go with all the fuel we're finding as well on this. Okay, next level of rifles. Can definitely afford to switch you over. We actually don't have enough steel for this. Get that from the French for now. I mean, we're in alliance with them, right? So it makes sense that you want to be on their side. The regular Portugal, I think, is about to be murdered. Yeah, we can now go for air doctrine. Of course, battlefield support. Oh, it's always what you take. I think it's always what you take. And I think it's just by far the best option. I thought that the... I thought the, um... Our allies would have gotten here down by by here already, but apparently that's actually not been the case. So I'm, I'm going to actually naval invade here, as was my original plan. Also, we should have, should have got to 1930, like, last uh, year, but here we are. Look at power costs for them being more likely to join our faction. I think that makes sense. I'm going to give it, like, a one day to tick over. At least if this is ahead. That'll be great. What's that flag? Oh, you know, it's it's a uh, it's a beautiful flag. I'm feeling that Poland in this DLC sounds extremely dangerous. Well, I mean, you got the Polish flag, you've got the Transylvanian flag, you've got the Moldovan flag, and you've got the uh, Romanian flag. So, you know, it, it's a it's a beautiful looking country that doesn't have some of the world's worst borders. Hey, look, we can able invade now. Don't have air superior or naval superiority down here. I should have thought about that, and I don't know why I didn't. Let's send you guys to this airport. Send you over the Adriatic. Do I have close air support? I should. Yes, I have some. Let's crank you up to. Let's just say 300 for now. And yeah, now you can logistical strike, which actually strikes at enemy trains and trucks. Not going to be super useful when we're bombing the uh, Adriatic, but the future for sure. I just want a little naval invasion. But I, I kind of forgot that navies are a thing. 
Thank you, Germany, for a couple of close air support. I'm happy to have it. Okay, go with an artillery upgrade. leave the sea no because we can't leave we can't leave the boss for it if only turkey decided to join my faction then then things maybe would have gone okay yeah they hate us they, they definitely do not want to join the war against italy which i think is a little bit rude because who doesn't want to go to war with germany or with, with italy i should say it's always a fun time but like what are they gonna do like win that's nah, not gonna happen they're the, they're the italians we're, we're fine also, I did not assign a commander to this army, which I could. And was I correct in my assumption? That we have... Yeah, we have enough supplies to deal with this army here. Army organization. We'll go with army offense on you. Camouflage is okay. Go so skirmisher on this guy. And then we'll go on Offensive Doctrine. I don't think we need to get another upgrade on you right now. Don't know if Finland decided to join the faction or not. And we're going to send a diplomat. We can only do one. God damn it, Finland. Fin Why Finland? How, how dare you? How, how dare you insult me like this? We're trying to get Denmark, so I guess we'll go with Denmark first. I mean, Denmark, you should join our faction. Germany's on your border. They're already part of the faction. It's a natural fit for you to want to be our friend. That's all I'm going to say. That, that's all I've got to say about this. Okay, so the communists have won in Portugal. They're still fighting the, the civil war up in the north. Do you have any EU4 nation suggestions? I would say... Honestly, play, play, play Poland. It's, it's thematically fitting for... Um, our current campaign, I mean, Poland is a fun campaign in EU4. It's the only, it's the only nation I've actually ever finished an entire campaign with. Is, uh, the Polish landing Commonwealth. Aside from that, I mean, the Ottomans, I think, are a fun time. I, I like being any country that can colonize, so I think, you know, um, it looks a bit big, though. A smaller start. Um... Who would be who would be a good small star for you? For? Hey, maybe do like a colonial Ireland. I'm not I'm not too sure. And how is superiority here? Twenty one percent. I I don't think the the French or anybody's actually gonna put any troops here. Supplies with all of you are terrible. I mean, you need to capture some more. Oh, I don't know. France. How many men have died in this war so far? Ah, oh, I mean, about a million. Excellent. Very happy to see it. If I don't invite Denmark. Let's try to invite Sweden. Okay, well, first things first. Anybody who was on this invasion, congratulations. You're just going to move to Albania quickly and just take that area over. Okay, Denmark's joined the faction. You'd love to see it. You can get Sweden involved as well. And I want to get all these people into the faction before we potentially have Germany take over the faction. Kind of screw us over a little bit. I mean, Albania, congratulations. I don't know why you would submit this, uh, to Italy. Given the current situation they find themselves in, I think it would have been a, a, bad, it's a bad choice on your part. Plus one attack. I definitely think plus one attack would be nice. 1940. It's not my fault they invaded Yugoslavia. Italy started the conflict. We just happened to uh, get ourselves involved. This is actually moving a lot of troops over here. God, our supplies are horrible. You know why? Because Albania is not connected to the rest of the infrastructure. We cannot effectively put bring supplies here. We would actually need to 
build ourselves a rail network from this supply hub to Albania. And then we can actually supply units in this area. Bring you back up north for now. I mean, Albania has now fallen to Yugoslavia. Seems good uh, for me, at least. That's your output. I mean, again, like... I guess I got weapons and equipment. I mean, it's, it's okay, but... Again, base, hard fire, four companies are garbage. They're, they're so bad. They don't actually really give you any bonuses. I do wonder if Yugoslavia is going to end up leaving our faction after this after this war. Just because, again, they're communists. The rest of the, con the rest of the faction is either a monarchy or they're democratic. They might leave and try to join the common turn at some point or join up with Greece. Yeah, I'm not 100% too sure. I came to the war on a rock. Try to bring Norway into the situation as well. He does refuse. God damn it. Why? Why do I spend my political power trying to convince you why joining our alliance is overall a good thing? I mean, I know yeah, ooh, you're at war with Italy. You're going to be at war with the Soviet Union if you, if you don't uh, join our alliance. That's all I've got to say. Why did the British declare war on the Dutch? Why? I don't quite understand. And they could have worn a rod. A rock, a rod, and the Dutch. Uh, uh, caught the axis of evil, uh, as some have put it in the past. Very confusing. Could have like Bulgaria and then kill the, the Greeks. And you know what? I think that seems like a great idea. Especially since I'm building my rail infrastructure down here. So you know what, Italy? Whatever, I don't care about you anymore. We're, we're anti, I'm gonna kill Greece now. Also, I do like how some units, like, they actually don't want to take attrition damage. They'll actually take the railroad going up and around. Oh, so they're going way faster now. Here you can join our faction. Eat this. How much does Greece have? 10 to 35, 5 to 19 on Bulgaria. And we've now connected all this area up by rail, which is nice, which means we can actually effectively bring supplies over here. I guess we could have brought supplies over by sea as well. But I'm looking at the situation right now in Greece, and I'm like, hmm, not doing so hot. So you know what? Invite the faction. Welcome. I'm now going to immediately declare a war on you. Do not accept. Really? What if you, what if you join my war? And then I join your war. There we go. But here's a cool thing. I'm going to rush my way to taking over Lisa's railroad infrastructure. 